This is the 13th video working with this pool table model in Blender. And in the last video, we made some images to map to our pool balls. Now we're going to need to make some pool balls to map them to. So let's set up our scene here. Go into a wireframe, zoom in. My cursor centered on the origin, so I'll start just by adding a UV sphere. I'll use default settings, except the radius I'll change to the proper scale, which we'll use 2.25. And this is going to make a large sphere, because in establishing our scale, we did scale our table to a factor of 0.1. So we'll scale that to a factor of 0.1. Then grab it along the z-axis and move it up by 0.225. And that will set the ball onto the surface of the felt. With that set up, we might as well take the ball into another layer and make things a little bit easier to look at. So we'll take that ball into another layer and go into edit mode with it. So with the ball in edit mode, what I'm going to want to do is first off set up a material. So I'll add a new material. I'll set the material to map from text face and call the material ball. and add a bit of ray mirror to it to make it a little shiny and a little reflective. So we'll add some of that and some Fresnel to help the quality of that, make it look more right. And I'm just watching my image in the preview pane to get an idea for what it'll look like. Then we'll turn on, uh, go into the editing buttons, set the ball to smooth, so we don't forget to do that. And now what I want to do is separate this into two balls, two sections of the ball, or two halves of the ball, I should say. So I'm going to box select right up to the central line of vertices that intersects with the center of the sphere. Then I'll shift duplicate that, and drop it where it's at, use the P key to separate selected. Then I'm going to make a selection of half the ball minus the row of vertices that intersects the center and erase that. So I'll erase vertices. That'll leave me with two halves of the ball and with the row of vertices along the center that'll be able to merge together uh, later in the process. <coughs> with that much done we can go into object mode Select the two halves of the ball and look at it from top view. Shift duplicate that, drop it where it's at, and pull it aside. Select all, shift duplicate the pair, drop them where they're at, and pull it up. Select all, shift duplicate the pair, drop them where they're at, and pull them aside. Select all, shift duplicate the pairs, and pull them down. Now we have the 16 balls that we need for our pool table, which is 1 through 15, and a cue ball, I believe. I believe I have enough balls, anyways. So what I'll do now, and I'm going to cut out of my video to do it, but I'm going to move all these balls to different layers. So I'll box select them, and move them all into different layers so that things are easier to work with. So I'll just move all these and come back to the video with that done. So with all the balls moved into different layers, we can now proceed. So I'll select one half of the ball, look at it from a top view, tab into edit mode, select all, press the U key, and use project from view bounce as my UV unwrapping method. So I'll select that. And that'll place my ball into the UV image ed editor. And using the select from view bounds, we'll expand the ball until it fits the entire image. So I'll go into image, open, and I'm going to use ball 15 because it'd probably be best to start with a stripe to show how this works out. So I'll select that image and open it up. And that'll map the image to this ball. We can confirm that course by looking at the ball in textured mode. Now we can tab back into object mode 
and select the bottom half of the ball. Tab into Edit Mode, select All, use the Control Pad key, Control key and Number Pad 7, and that will give us an inverted top view, or bottom view. Now we can use the U key and use the Project from Bounds option. This will place the ball, the image, onto the bottom of the ball. If we come over into the Image Editor and rotate our ball, using the Control key by 180 degrees, when we look at our ball, we'll find that the number is placed so that it is upside down or right side up on both sides of the ball evenly. And I believe this is the proper way for the number to be written onto the ball. So we're going to call that good. Tab into object mode. Select all. Control J to join selected meshes. We'll join those together. Tab into edit mode. Select all. Come into the Mesh Tools dialog and remove doubles. That will remove 32 doubles. With those doubles removed, it would probably be a good idea to recalculate our normals. And normals can get messed around pretty easily. So I'm going to recalculate the outside and we'll hope that all's well with that ball. And that's the method to get the number onto both sides of the ball. And as you can see, the stripe is nice and even. There's no seam showing in it at all. So we'll repeat this process with all the balls, the solid and the striped balls. And I'll come back with that done. And I'm thinking that we're going to need a white image at least for the cue ball because of the texture. Or we're going to need to set up a new texture for the cue ball. So we'll look at that in the next video and have a look at this in, uh, in a more completed state. So that'll be in the next video and until then, happy modeling.